awe of your presence. We're in awe of your mighty grace and mercy. We thank you for the blood that washed us cleaner and whiter than snow. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed for each and every person here under the sound of my voice and beyond the sound of my voice. We thank you for the blood that will never, ever lose its power. Whenever we feel weak and whenever we feel out of it, we can always go to the blood. Whenever we feel like we don't have any more to give, we can always go to the blood. We thank you for the blood that was shed on the cross for me, Lord. We thank you for the blood that was shed on the cross for everyone, Father, that believes in the name of this name above all names, the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, he died on the cross and shed his blood when he didn't have to, but he did it so that we can have a right to the tree of life. So we thank you for the blood that came down from his face, Lord, and touched the ground, Father, knowing that it was touching humanity, touching each and every one of us, so that we too can live this day. This blood that was shed for us all. Lord, if we had a thousand tongues, if each and every one of us in this house had a thousand tongues, we couldn't have thanked you enough for sending your son to us to save us. If each and every one of us had a thousand tongues, we couldn't shout hallelujah enough to appreciate what you have done for us. If each and every one of us had a thousand tongues, we just couldn't just say, praise God enough for what you've given us. But you didn't ask us to have a thousand tongues. You just asked us to walk in faith and be obedient to your word. And this we can do. And we are just so thankful for everything that you've done and everything that we've heard and felt and seen so far in this service. We thank you, Lord. We just ask right now that you would continue to break us down and build us back up. That some of us came into this house with needs today, Lord. And we need those needs fulfilled through your word. So we're going to stand in the gap, Lord, so that you can fill us with your word. Some of us came with situations, Lord, that have been long-term that we can't fix or figure out. But we're going to stand in a place, Lord, so that you can help us figure them out. Some of us came with some physical ailments, Lord. We're taking medications that the doctor said we had to take. But Lord, right now we want to bow to a doctor that never lost a case. And that is Dr. Jesus Christ, Lord. That he will solve and he will take on our case. And he will heal us from whatever we're all on, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the awesomeness, Lord, for the magnitude of the blood. Lord, scientists and can't even you know, tell us the power of this blood that came down. Most scientists are trying to discredit it, Father. But we know it was the blood that blessed and that saved humanity, Father, from coast to coast, Lord, and from nation to nation. So we just thank you for the Lord we serve, Father, and we just open ourselves up to you for the blood that Jesus shed for me and each and every one of us on Calvary. It had power then, and that same blood that had power over 2,000 years ago has power today. And if we need him, all we need to do is call. So Lord, if we have a voice today, and if somebody's in need, don't let them be ashamed and shout out your name so that they can be healed and they can be delivered from whatever they came in the other seat. For you are a lawyer that never lost a case, you're a doctor that never lost a case, you're a counselor that always has the right solution. And we just thank you for being a wonderful counselor, everlasting God, Prince of Peace, to everyone that seeks you. And Lord, we pray for our sick and shut in and the caregivers of them that they too will be touched by this prayer today. That wherever they are, Lord, we know that you are omnipresent and you can be every place at one time. So as you are here, Lord, we pray for us to and shine in, Lord, that you will be there also so that they can feel the spirit of this prayer wherever they are. And knowing that you are with them and that you never left them 
Go ahead and you put a second down. So we lift you up, give you the praise in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Anybody feel like praising him right now? Anybody feel like praising? Somebody can see this coming for the praise. Somebody can see this coming for the praise. I know God's done something for you, and you just want to shout it out. You just might need to just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Holy Spirit for bringing me through. Amen. God has been good, and he's good all the time. Amen.